Good afternoon. Uh, I am Denise Valentine, Mayor Pro Tem for the City of DeSoto. I'm excited today to be talking with two gentlemen about a program that we've worked over a year to try to bring to the City of DeSoto. We are bringing a boxing program for our youth to the city. I have with me Reverend Gerald White and then our Olympian Errol Spence Jr. Uh, I'd like to start this uh, by just saying, first of all, thank you uh, for the wonderful work that you've been doing representing our city. Uh, I know you were in the Summer Olympics uh, for, for us, and you represented us by competing in amateur boxing. So what? tell me more about like which weight class or that kind of thing that you were in, and how you felt about that experience at the Olympics. Uh, I was at the 152 weight class. I was number one in my country. All right. And I made it to the quarterfinals of the, of the Olympic Games. And um, it was a great experience. I met a lot of great people, and I got a lot of um, exposure, mm -hmm. a lot of world, uh, worldwide exposure and national exposure. So um, it was a great opportunity and a great experience just to follow the footsteps of uh, people I look up to, like Muhammad Ali and Sugar Ray Leonard and all them. Very good. So how, how did you get started in boxing? Uh, my dad got me started in boxing. It started just as an extracurricular activity for the summertime just to place my energy somewhere. And I, my dad didn't want me hanging out with my friends and, you know, having a lot of time on my hands. So he got me involved with boxing to take some of that time off. And um, it, helped, it helped me out a lot, you know, kept me out of trouble, you know, and just kept me focused on boxing. And I just fell in love with it. And I found my, uh, just my, my niche. And how old were you when you started? I started when I was 15. Fifteen. Okay. Yes. All right. Um, if you don't mind, how old are you now? I'm 22 now. Well, okay. I turned 23 March 3rd. Okay. So uh, seven to eight years you've been doing this. Yes, ma'am. So um, in boxing, what are some of the best things uh, that you can say about boxing? Uh, the best things about boxing, I did a lot of traveling. Um, I went to different countries. Um, I probably went to 10 or 15 different countries. And uh, just met a lot of great people, and just um, the experience and uh, the discipline. It's a lot of discipline in boxing too. You have to have discipline because I had to make a certain weight each fight. I had to make a certain weight and make it each day for probably like a week, two weeks. So it takes a lot of discipline. Mm -hmm. And just um, just overall, just just staying out of trouble. The time, the time that boxing it takes a lot of time to be in boxing. And uh, the time that I had to uh, spend with boxing, I didn't have a lot of time for other different stuff like hanging with friends and, uh, you know, girlfriends and everything else. So um, it's just just the time that I had to spend with boxing that helped me out a lot. Reverend White, did you have a, uh, a question? Um, well, I just wanted to kind of add to what uh, Errol said about the discipline and bo boxing be being one, one of the major things involved. I mean, you have, have to have a particular mindset and uh, – one of the better things about boxing is it teaches you dis discipline. Also, it teaches you yourself. You know yourself. You know your limitations. You know that they that you excel at. So it opens up a lot of things for an individual about themselves. It's self discovery. You know that's one of the better things about it. And it teaches you that you yourself have to make a commitment to something. You yourself are the only one that can fulfill that commitment. Nobody else can box for him. That's right. He's got to box for himself. So that that that's one of the better things about it. it teaches you about yourself, self discipline, and your own goals. What do you want to do? You know. Well, what what is the worst thing about boxing? Uh, for me, um, I mean, I love boxing all around. Uh, it was no well, no worst thing for me for boxing. Mm -hmm. Uh. You know, it helped me out. I needed boxing more than it needed me. It just, just helped me out all around. It wasn't any worse thing about boxing. You never got tired of working out? Oh, of course, you, you're you going to get tired of working out. But mm -hmm. um, if you want to be the best at something, you want to be number one at something, you can't get tired, mm -hmm. especially when I was uh, in the Olympics and being an Olympian and fighting different countries. Because them dudes fighting in them third world countries and you know, coming from a poor, real, real poor background. And, uh, you know, them dudes, you know, they trying to, they're fighting for, you know, they're fighting to eat. Yeah. So, I mean, I had to train hard and train every day because I knew them guys were training every day. That's right. So, um, as people start in boxing, the first thing you're going to do is a lot of working out and conditioning. And that's why I was asking about that because 
uh, people uh, would might want to just jump right in, put on the gloves, you know, <laughs> but you really have to be in good condition. And I know just even from the exercise that I do for myself, uh, you know, and trying to be better uh, in better health, uh, you know, you get tired, your muscles hurt, you know, things like that. So what inspired you past that point? Uh, well, it, t- it takes a lot of running. And me, personally, I hate running. But I knew it was something I had to do. That's why I say it takes a lot of discipline because even when you don't want to do something, you have to do it mm-hmm. because that's going to get you past and that's going to get you to the top level, to another level, take you to another level where you compete with the top guys. And, um, you know, it just what inspired me just to be the best and, you know, want to succeed. Su- be successful at what I wanted to do. Mm-hmm. And I wanted to be the best. I wanted to be Olympian. I wanted to represent my country. So I knew I had to go through this, this, and this to get to there. So that just, that that's what inspired me and helped me go past, you know, the pain and everything else. Okay. Well, you know, you, you did it. You got to the Olympics. Yeah. Um, you got to the quarterfinals, you said? Yes. Which is a great accomplishment. Okay. Um, uh, I watched the Olympics during the summer every day and was just totally inspired by all of the athletes there. Now, since then, since you're from DeSoto, yes. I made sure that I kept up with uh, what you were gonna do. I kind of expected after the Olympics that you would turn pro, which you did. Yes, ma'am. And you've had two fights, if I have it right. Uh, I've seen uh, two fights that you just um, eliminated your uh, opponent. <laughs> so tell me more about what's in the future for you. Uh, right now, you know, I'm just uh, starting out as a process and um, I'm fighting right now just to get my feet wet. You know, I'm not fighting great guys. You know, they're just, they're pretty good, but they're not great. I'm not going to lie about that. And um, I'm 3-0 and with three knockouts. My next fight is March 2nd in San Antonio, Texas on Fox Sports. And my future going to plans is to be a, uh, become a world champion and a future Hall of Famer. And I think, you know, the sky's the limit for me. And I'm I'm not going to settle for less. I'm going to settle for the best, and that's to be a future Hall of Famer. That's wonderful. That is wonderful. Um, now, if you were able to be here, which uh, the reason you're not going to be here for this uh, meeting is because you are going to be at the fight. But if you were able to be here, what would you tell uh, the youth and their parents about why they should be interested in getting into the sport of boxing? Uh, I think they should be interested in getting the sport of boxing because it's a great opportunity, especially for the young kids to learn discipline and put their energy somewhere else, you know, instead of, you know, hanging out with your friends or even getting them out the house playing video games and stuff. Because you socialize a lot, too, when you, you boxing with other kids and everything else. You learn a lot of socialization skills and, and the self-confidence, too you fighting and you being in the ring by yourself, that takes a lot of self-confidence for you to be in the ring and fighting somebody by yourself. And uh, I think they should do it. It's a great opportunity and it helped me out a lot with my self-confidence and uh, my discipline. And um, it's a great opportunity and I hope they get into it. Okay. It helped them out a lot. Okay. Uh, This uh, effort for boxing is a combination effort from the city of DeSoto, DeSoto Police and Clergy, the Chocolate Mint Organization, uh, so, and uh, let me not forget, DeSoto ISD. We're all working together uh, to make this happen. So, Errol, your next fight again, so we won't miss it on television. My next fight, March 2nd in San Antonio, Texas, and it should be on any Fox Sports Network. Great. Thank you for being here, both of you. Thank you. It's Thank an honor. You.